Hey guys and welcome to a new video series. I'm going to be doing basically featuring dancers that I fitted in point shoes and today we've got Shakira and you might know her from Instagram. She's got some really fabulous pictures. You should totally check her Insta out. I'll link it in the box below. Um, so, if you didn't know already, Shakira is a Grishko girl, which is just awesome, and you guys can also apply to be an ambassador also. Shakira's been a Grishko girl for quite a while now, so if you'd like to introduce yourself to the viewers, tell us a bit about yourself, you know, like, how long have you been doing ballet for? And... So, hey guys, I'm Shakira Dancer Model, aka The Urban Ballerina. I'm 13 and I've been dancing for five years. Um, so, oh wow, like you've just got into full-time training as well, right? Yes, yeah, so I've started at Tring Park School for the Performing Arts uh -huh. on the dance course. That's fabulous. Which has been so much fun so far. So what kind of uh, genres of dance are you doing there at the moment? Um, so we do everything there, but my favourites are ballet uh -huh. and jazz because they're, like, ballet is very, like, it's very technical but you sure. can make it very flowy absolutely and jazz is like very fun and jumpy <laughs> totally so um do you do anything else there do you do singing or drama so i have a private singing class we do drama we do choir uh -huh. we do tap we do everything really fabulous so would you say that ballet is more your favorite uh yeah cool. but i do love everything else as well it's always good to have ballet as that foundation right yeah fabulous <laughs> So, um, how long have you been on point for? I've been on point for just over a year. Oh, fabulous. So, how have you found it? Have you found it a really interesting journey? Yes. Um, it's more about strength, mm -hmm. not flexibility, which Absolutely. I found out when I just, when I just sure. started. And there's so many girls on Instagram, isn't there, that are like showing off being flexible on point, sometimes going too far over their box. And as a point shoe fitter, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, they're going to do themselves an injury. It's so important, girls, to have not just the flexibility, but the strength to go with it. Um, because, you know, you can be all well and good, really going over your box, your feet looking pretty. But if you roll your ankle, you can even like tear ligaments elsewhere. The list goes on. So what model of point shoes are your favourite at the moment? OK, so fitted today mm -hmm. was the Dream Point. Yeah, the T007 yeah. pre-arch model. Yeah. I they love them, amazing. but there's always my backup, which is the Maya one. Oh, absolutely. Like. Yeah, I've been a Maya one girl myself, <laughs> um, and Shakira and I both got narrow feet, and the Maya just really complements more slender feet really beautifully with the V vamp. But what we're doing today, what we've found is this is another reason why girls and guys, it's really important to get fitted every time because feet and strength do change. We've decided to work on a special order for Shakira now. Now we can see how the shoes have molded to her feet and we can see what modifications are just gonna make the shoe more perfect for her. So um, you do a lot of photo shoots, which is really cool. Um, people on Instagram just love them. I really like love seeing the way that you mix um, different fashions with your pictures. You know, you don't just wear dance wear, you sometimes do vintage things, which is really cool. So do you um, prefer like shooting indoors or location? Which is your favorite? Definitely on location because it's like more challenging oh definitely um because it's like the weather if mm -hmm. it's gonna rain sure <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's just more fun because you get to see new places and oh, definitely. just new areas and, and don't you find it's really cool because you can like use what's around you to work into the pictures as well yeah. right so you can kind of like pose with things you can use things as like to lean on as well if you're doing a tricky move um for those of you who have not shot on point outside um you know, just getting that perfect day with the right weather, making sure that the surface you're going to be balancing on is suitable and also making sure that you're not wearing shoes that are brand new because you don't want to wreck them. Um, but Shakira's done a lot of really fabulous outdoor location shoots in all different places, which you can see on her Insta as well. Um, so what are your favourite Grishko must haves? Okay, <laughs> there's quite a few. So definitely the um, Dream Stretch um, soft shoes. Oh yeah, they're amazing. It just snugs your feet. In it, I so. totally agree. It's amazing. The Grishko warm-up booties. Oh yeah, check these out guys. So Shakira's got the booties on 
and we were just speaking about these actually compared to another particular brand and I've not actually felt these yet so I had a little feel of them and I'm really impressed with the quality I'm definitely going to get myself a pair <laughs> um, any other bits of Grishko items that you like? The tracksuit is one of you need it oh is that the one the Grishko get on the back? Mm -hmm. I really like that <laughs> Check it out guys, I actually want this in adult size, it's so cool. Um, so did they give you also any of the exercise bands from Grishka? Oh, the, um, like the fair bands, fair bands yeah. 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 They, these ones are really good because they have really like different, like, different strengths. Shrimps. Yeah. yeah, they come in different colours as well to, to tell you the shrimp, which yeah. is quite handy. I think I've got the pink one myself, which I think is like a medium. Yeah, I have um, that one. I liked how long it was as well, because some ferro bands are quite short. Whereas with this one, I can even tie it onto the bar and do like some turnout exercises, which I thought was really handy. Um, and I also like the quality because I had another one by a different brands, and it was a little bit thin, and I, it actually snapped after a while, so that was a bit awkward. So, just going to add a list of questions here. Um, do you have any tips for dancers watching for warming up and stretching? Okay, well, well, while warming up, you definitely need to have a lot of clothing on. Good Take point. it off as you're getting warmer, mm -hmm. but you need it. Absolutely. Do you have any like favourite stretches that you might want to speak about? Favorite, um, definitely the metatarsal, like oh, the doming exercise yeah. that's a really good one, and the Mexican wave one with your feet. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, absolutely. Because that's another thing, viewers, is a lot of girls come to me for first point shoots and they've not done any strength work beforehand. Unfortunately, not all teachers um, give the girls like a program to work on. And if you can go about it yourself and do it, honestly, it will pay off because when people come to me for first shoes, it makes such a difference if I've seen that they've done some exercises with their feet, their ankles, worked even on a wobble ball to get their stability in the ankles as well. That's really key because um, I have spoken before that sometimes you get people with a sickle on one foot, quite commonly the left. And if you haven't done any strength work beforehand to sort that out, when you come to point work, it will be very, very visible on point. And that's why some of you that have been fitted by me, if you have the sickle, I always give you a list of exercises to correct it. Um, luckily enough, when Shakira got her first point shoot, she was very well prepared. She had great alignment. Her toes were all nicely aligned. She had a good demi point. She could articulate her feet very well. Tondus help fabulously with that. I can't stress it enough very basic move but it works your whole foot and when you're in a point shoot don't forget that it's going to be more difficult to point the foot so by just doing tondus in your soft shoes it will really get you used to working your feet more do you have any um favorite exercises on point even that you like to do exercises on point um i do like uh Pas de ray exercises. Oh yeah, sure. Because they look quite nice and floaty, uh -huh. but then like they're, 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 there's a lot in it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Sometimes like with, especially with Piquet Pas de Bure, um, maintaining the turnout and getting, you know, making sure that each move is really precise and turn out and lands beautifully can be so tricky, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, so do you have any best pieces of advice that you've been given so far during your dance training um, from anybody engaging the muscles is the main <laughs> one because i was like oh it's just all flexibility and all that sure but then i had a whole year just strengthening mm -hmm. using the muscles and it's it's just helped me so much sure absolutely so definitely with point as well mm -hmm. And from being on point, it's actually made me a lot stronger as well. Absolutely agree. So when Shakira got her first shoes, um, I always take pictures of most things I do. And we actually compared pictures. Um, bear in mind, Shakira's only been on point just over a year. We compared pictures last time from side on in parallel. And wow, the difference. You can tell that Shakira's really worked hard because she's got more muscular insteps now. She's over her box more. She's pulled up more. So it just goes to show, you you know, guys, put that work in. Even if you're doing 10 minutes extra in the evenings, even sitting sit watching TV, using a ferro band, picking up a towel with your feet, using, picking up marbles, doing piano toes, all these little things help so much. 
Um, could you tell us your favourite ballet step in soft shoes and point shoes? Okay, soft shoes, I love doing beats. I love jumping oh, overall. Oh, cool. um, Because it's like... They look pretty, yeah, right? they do. And they take a lot of like training too. A lot of people that have never done ballet before and they see dancers doing beating in jumps, they're like, oh, wow, you know, that looks so easy. But it's always good if someone goes to like a ballet class for the first time. So like one of my friends came along to try ballet and she was just mind blown by the way that there were so many intricate jumps and learning how to, you know, actually do a simple jump and point your feet at the same time, which is one of the basic things we learn in ballet, but it's actually quite hard to achieve. Um, so, yeah. And what about on point? Do you have any favourite steps on point? Um, I do like, you know, the, when you go on arabesque, then you roll down and then you have to go straight back up. Oh yeah, wow, that takes a lot of strength. It's a lot of strength, well, but it's yeah, it very fun. Pretty. <laughs> wow. Um, do you have any ballet goals? So mm -hmm. where would you like to go from um, your full-time training well, class? Well, I would love to be in a professional company. Uh-huh. Because, like, just being on stage would be amazing. Sure. Would you think you'd like to stay at a company in this country or would you like to travel with dance? Or? I would like to travel as well because I love going around the world. Sure. It would be fun. And do you think you'd like to specialise in ballet or would you like to try and do other forms of dance? I do want to be quite versatile as a dancer. Yeah, that's really important, cool, I it's, think. it's helpful for Absolutely. everything. Absolutely. So what would you say has been your hardest step to learn on point so far? Oh... Like I, it's not. It's probably not that hard, but it's um shenies for me. They are tough. I, I have to agree just with that. I can't do them. <laughs> I totally feel you because what I find hard is keeping a straight line. Because you spot and you think, oh yeah, I've got my spot, I've got my spot, and, and you then go, you go for in it. a different direction. <laughs> and you know what? Some people even end up just going round in a circle. Yeah. And it is really tough, guys. For those of you watching who haven't tried shenies on point yet. They are, you know, it was tough enough doing on Demi, right? And getting used to the feeling of staying up, making sure your weight's forward and making sure that you're getting that straight line. Well, on point, I tell you, it's a whole different story. I actually personally prefer pose turns on point yeah. anytime. For the American viewers watching, that's PK turns. So do you have any advice to give um, dancers that want to apply for the latest Grisha Girl Ambassador program? So you need to be yourself. You need to show how much you love and enjoy dancing. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be on point or be crazy flexible. That's really important, actually. So I've had some girls actually email me about this. Um, you do, I believe, need to be under 18, by the way. So any adults that want to apply, I don't think it's possible. Um, I'll find out more info, though. But, you know, on Instagram, girls, there's loads of dancers that do have this incredible hyper mobility, which is great. But some dancers get put off applying for programs and stuff because they think, oh, you know, she can do this. I can't do that yet. Don't worry, OK, because Grishko, first of all, they want to see your personality shine through. They want to see that you really love the brand and they want to see that you've got some dedication in you. So don't panic about being flexible and don't worry about the point. You know, when you do get on point, I'm sure that, you know, Grishko will help you out with that. and Maybe I'll be able to fit you, too. Um, but yeah, so um, do you have any shoots coming up that you want to talk about? Um, no, not really at the moment because it's like I prefer location sure, and it's, it's cold. getting cold. <laughs> Absolutely. We're in England. <laughs> That's the downside, guys, in this country, unfortunately. Like it's now, you know, November, so doing shoots outside is, is really tough, especially for dancers. And I just want to drop a bit of info in actually for those of you that haven't modelled outside much and if you're if you've got a photographer that's interested in doing shoots outside and especially if they're not experienced in dance photography please make sure you warm up you wear a lot of layers and you don't take your layers off until you are warm speaking from my own experience i've like you know gone along with a shoe gone there not worn many layers tried to warm up couldn't get warm enough then gone into different poses and then found that the next day I've done something to like my ankle or my foot. It's just really key. Make sure you're looking after yourself because sometimes photographers don't understand what goes into dance and what's important. You know, you don't want to hurt yourself over a picture. It's just not worth it. 
so yeah we'll round that up there then um in the box below you'll find all the links to Shakira's social media and the Grishko ambassador program plus of course my website and everything else you need to know as always if you have any questions or you would like a thing with me just drop me a message and we can sort it out thanks for watching bye <laughs>